Welcome back to another video. To make things short, Playing Crazy released its biggest update in two to three years with entirely new blocks and features. Some of those features came out several months before this update, so I'll be going over the ones released today, starting with the blocks. Now, if you enjoy my content, consider leaving a like or maybe even subscribing, and let's get back into the video. The first block I'll be going over is the statue block, something that I cannot add because I don't have any friends. With it, you're able to enter anyone's player ID and it'll change to that player image. The second block is the universal joint and it sort of acts like a ball joint, something that the community has been asking for a while now and it's supposed to be powered. It has the controls for it but maybe it's a bug that needs to be fixed in the future. One idea that immediately popped up inside my head is some sort of car suspension system since this thing can transfer power from an axle easily. The ball joint has finally been added to playing crazy. Just like the universal joint, you can't really control it unless you enable the mouse option. Doing so allows you to aim at the end of the ball joint and you're able to rotate the end clockwise and counterclockwise. I think turrets have been made a lot easier with this new block and I'm thinking of using it in my gyroscope because it requires less motors. The gyro is a block that keeps creations at a certain rotation and it will keep creations at a certain rotation until it's toggled off. This thing makes mech building much easier since the hardest part about mechs is walking without tripping over. The hover block is a block that is locked behind a paywall. I am not going to buy it. As a matter of fact, I thought Rick made a typo in the announcements because we already have a hover block. But yeah, I expect the block to behave similarly to the hover thruster and I'm not going to buy it though. Now let's head on over to the features. Rick added a feature that makes motor speed scale with the speed of creation travels. I don't know what this will allow, but it's interesting. Another new feature is that the block I cannot say or else YouTube may restrict my reach block can be put on keybinds. Before, it was only restricted to the left mouse click button, so another quality of life update. That is all the blocks and features added for this update. There's still one block to be added, which was the compressor block. I'm definitely going to have fun creating with the new blocks, and it was definitely something needed after three years. But anyways, I'll catch you all in the next video.